All the qualities that you pointed out from all the different brothers, they are good quality, eh? They are excellent quality. So I do hope that they give them. And they do, I do hope that you imitate them. First you imitate by outward reputation, later it will become your nature. Everything is habit. You train in a whatever way, you become like that, okay? In your personality. So whatever the, the, the quality, the personality you point out just now, they are good, good, good. But uh, we need more than that. Okay. And uh, the Buddha will not feel that he's a Buddha. Sometimes he does, but sometimes not. New, you know? <laughs> Just like newborn baby, he doesn't realize he's a human, eh? Slowly, slowly, yeah. Any question? Any question why him? The one who become Buddha, they already been practicing before, eh? And they, mm, like not from a very low level, so it's easier. It's easier. And uh, some of the person have been my disciple before, but they have not reached the fifth level. And this guy has been disciple with somebody else before. And I just continue to push him up a little bit. I mean, not this life, but other lifetimes. Yeah? He came from like third level. He came down here to advance his spiritual uh, grade. Nah? That's their special purpose. They come here just for that. So you can see they're very devoted. Yeah? Just just one <laughs> just one way to go. They might have wife or husband, but you don't feel like they are very attached to each other or any, anything. Do you? Do you feel? No. Understand me? Uh, they're not uh, this uh, attachment or clinging together or feeling the possessiveness of each other. I'm sorry to disappoint you because the Buddha doesn't look like what he is. I don't even know him personally, so you cannot say that I, I pick him because I know him or he's my friend or he has been doing me favor. It's the first time I ever saw him. Maybe he saw me before, but I don't remember him at all. You been on retreat before? Yes? Yes, I Many times? In England. In England? Only one time, huh? Korea. Korea also? I don't remember him, sorry. <laughs> Nothing personal. Because so many people. Maybe I remember a little bit. What I mean is I don't have personal relationship with him. Do you understand? No personal, even knowledge. Yeah? I might know him, you know, but for example, I, I know her better. You know, I know the Swiss. Uh, <laughs> Yeah? And they already attained sainthood, but not the fifth level. So this time they saw me coming here because they have been my disciple. They have a free choice to go where they want. So they keep looking, looking, and say, ah, Master is here. Come down, help her a little bit, and then go up. It's easy. So you can see they're more close to me, easy to understand. And they do things like they have known each other, we have known each other for a long time. There's no obstruction, no hard feeling, nothing in between, very easy. But you'll be okay, you'll be the same. You are more fortunate than he, he, he was. Because you've been given gifts and you have been pushed and all the design, the songs and all kinds of <laughs> videotapes. In, in his time, they don't have these things. They're lucky if they can see me once or a lifetime. Now you can see me every day in your living room and you have all kinds of things to push up your spiritual practice. So even though you've been in a lower level, you've been lifted up. Okay? Congratulations, eh? Still first or no? Still in fam? Surprise? No. No, no, no wife. No. Why? Why is that? Destiny. Destiny. Ah, that's a Okay, good. Continue. I just want the people to look at you, so they don't mistake. Okay. Yeah. 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 Many of you four level already. Okay. Just uh, one third, maybe almost like third level. I'm not going to point it. Until you become fifth level, I let you be nobody. All right? <laughs> you are all saints, yeah? But well, you gotta be in the fifth level to be special, otherwise, I don't care. Four level, third level, they are walking all over on the street, they are in the supermarket, dress everywhere. So you are nobody, really. But you are getting in there, huh? You're getting in there. You're good, you're good. How about.
I forgot all this. Is the Chinese food good? Yes. Really? Yes. Tell me the truth. Yeah? Yeah. Hey. And uh, uh, the reason I'm telling you, because food, of course, nothing special, and Chinese food you know, and vegetarian Chinese food, I tell them, please, just cook anything vegetarian, just like for your family members. I'm very surprised and pleased that this restaurant, she understood, and the cook just keep cooking, cooking, and they, they have all the food that we like, you know? I'm very pleased. That's why I want to share it with you. Uh, from today, oh, yeah, never mind. from today we just order. Tomorrow we have pizza or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that is just to revenge for the chat to the Chinese because they <laughs> tomorrow they have to eat pizza and they, <laughs> they feel what it's like how the Vietnamese, huh? Because they dominate the food market, you know, the Chinese, you know. So let them see what pizza is like, okay? <laughs> All right. I think it's better. When I first came here, the first thing I go, I do is buy food for you. Yeah, I bought like three car loads of stuff, you know? I thought because you come in soon, <laughs> because you didn't come yet. And then Chinese food as well. But anyway, we, we eat slowly, you know, and then you came and we buy more, eh? Because I heard that the farm is very far from the city. Not far, but far enough, you know? And the row was like that, I heard it all that, so I thought we'd better buy some food and bring here in case you come quick and you can have something to eat. Eh? So I also think of food, no? <laughs> but because I did not think that uh, a Chinese food can cook so good, and for so many people, but it was really good, it was really good. And you enjoyed it, eh? Yeah. Really, all of you? Yeah. No problem? Good, good boy, good girl. Yeah. I know it's good. Sometimes they cook well, but it doesn't taste good, you know? If it don't taste good, you put some soy sauce. You buy soy sauce for them, yeah? The soy sauce from Hungary. That's a good one, good one. The, the, look like triangle. Oh, that's really tastes good. The first time I taste such a delicious soy sauce, also in Hungary. Can you believe this? Anywhere else you can find it. Maybe you can, but rarely. I go just a normal supermarket and I took it, and then it tastes good. I didn't believe it would taste good. I didn't know because always you buy some soy sauce everywhere else. It just tastes salty water. But this one, it tastes so good, just right. Not too salty, eh? not too strong. It's delicious. Did you buy some more, guys? Buy some more of those soy sauce? Good, good. Buy a lot, okay? <laughs> so that for them to spice their food. Wow. Hungary has everything. <laughs> instant trailer, <laughs> instant Chinese vegetarian. They're just a normal uh, shop, but they cook so good. So they deserve it. Huh? You know where it is or not? If you don't know, you can ask the brothers here. I, I brought a few cards. So you can go there to eat whenever you feel like. After this, you know, anytime. The Hungarian at least, huh? I'm very pleased with the Hungarian. They're so smart, so smart. Even the soy sauce is so good. <laughs> yeah, it's made from abroad, but at least they know which one to import or which one the ingredients, you know, or which one to use. Uh, the Vietnamese here are so smart. The Chinese here are so smart. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's why we have good food. I have never been able to order so good and so special Chinese food like this, tofu, and then some soya sprout or chopper cabbage or carrot. But this shop, they have bamboos, they have some salty kind of uh, spice, like pickled cabbage to mix with it, and they have uh, seaweed, and they have, bam you know, the uh, soya, green soya, and they have uh, tofu, uh, dry tofu, all kind of nutrition. It's rare, any Chinese shop that had like that. Seriously. <laughs> Except the Chinese uh, vegetarian restaurant. <laughs> yeah, different. Oh, I'm so happy. 
If you still want the Chinese food, we order again. If not, we order pizza and spaghetti tomorrow. Pizza and spaghetti? Yes. yes. No? Yes. How many pizza and spaghetti, right hand? <laughs> Spaghetti pizza, that's it? Yeah. yeah. Well, majority wins. Yeah. Pizza tomorrow. Pizza and spaghetti, yes, good. Oh, some more are growing. Good, good. Okay, any question? I don't know why he may, I also don't know. Eh? <laughs> he doesn't even look like a Buddha. <laughs> His name is Ro Royalty. Like. But the French also funny, I tell you again. It's written like Camembert, you know? Like C A M E M B E R T. So you would read like Camembert, no? But they say no, Camembert. <laughs> See the Camembert. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, fromage, they write it with G-E at the, the end, you know, the cheese, mean cheese, but fromage. Normally we would pronounce the G-E at the end, then no, no. Why waste time? Let fromage. <laughs> the English, you have to pronounce the end, you know, until the end, right? But the French, no, they don't have time. <laughs> They eat whatever they can, so <laughs> it's quicker. Yeah. And then uh, um, one time, you know, because we have some friends resident before, and they sit together and eat something, and uh, they mention something, uh, uh, fondue, fondue. How we say it in English? Fondue, eh? Fondue. It's written like that, like fondue, F-O-N-D-U-E. We would read, we would uh, spell it like fond, fond, fondue, no? No, the French, no. Not fond, not du. Fondue. <laughs> so, so, they were talking together, they said, oh, I would just went out and eat some a fondue, fondue, you know, fondue of a French restaurant, very good. And the French resident don't understand what the uh, what kind of French food you eat. We don't have that. <laughs> and one of my attendant, because I I tell him how to pronounce French sometimes, you know, depends. So he knows. It. He said, No, no, you don't say fondue. You say fondue, and then he understands. <laughs> ah, the fondue. <laughs> No wonder we have why, you know. <laughs> All this bubble language. <laughs> okay, so much for the friends. Yes. You know, Master, I am Polish. You're po Polish. I'm Polish. And yes. I live in France, and when I arrive, I uh, using a sew machine. Zinger is. Oh. Uh, German, German. Ah. Zinger, yeah. and I speak with some French people that I use Zinger. I know I used Sanger. I don't know. We use Sanger. <laughs> And you're already very good. It's already humane when they say song, even with the end. Sometimes, <laughs> Then you'll be more lost, I know. Yeah, this will make you feel better because we make fun of the French. <laughs> you can't have a Buddha, at least you make fun of his country. <laughs> sweet, sweet revenge, no? Yes. Okay. Never mind, we love you, that's why, okay? We laugh with you. But French is very nice if you speak properly, you know, but some people are so exaggerated. <laughs> like, uh, mon Dieu, you know? It's the French, mon Dieu. 
Bah ben, non, c'est mon dieu. Mon dieu. <rire> Some people say, oh mon dieu. And he's just wondering what is he talking about. Oh well, God, he doesn't even understand that they're calling him. <laughs> mon dieu means my God, huh? my God. But some people speak so funny, they don't even know what. And you say, oh my God, and they say, that's it, that's it, you understand.